Hi everyone, I'm just going to introduce you to Windows 7 and just show you a few tips and tweaks to get you underway using the new operating system from Microsoft. So, first of all, let's see the difference in a user account control. Now, you might remember in Vista, the annoying boxes and pop-ups that always came up when you wanted to change something, the screen would dim and then you'd be told, would you want to proceed with this? and it would happen every time you installed a program you did something um, to change a windows setting and it got really annoying for most users and most users ended up turning it off and I know I did and even users who kept it on would just accept yes for everything so it kind of uh, defeated the point because Microsoft obviously wanted a way to protect your computer to prevent programs accessing your windows settings without you knowing um, so in Windows 7 they've remedied the problem by changing the way you organize your user account control. So I'm just going to type in the search box in the bottom left here, a user account control. Now I have a button here in under control panel called change user account control settings. So if I go ahead and choose that, I'm faced with a slider. Now this slider has two extremes, one is to always notify and the bottom being never notify. The default setting for the user account control is to not notify me when I make changes to Windows settings and it only notifies me when programs try to make changes to computer. Again this will dim your screen and a box will come up confirming that you were the person who made the change to your computer. So, As in Win Windows 7 here we have four options on the slider. Now, this being the default, if we take it down a notch, we can see the settings here change. It says now that we only notify me only when programs try to make changes to my computer. Do not dim my desktop. And also, don't notify me when I make changes to Windows settings. So this level here is, I guess, for those users who are more familiar with their computer and they understand what they're doing, but they want that little bit of um, security and... I guess a kind of safety net just just to be just to be safe um, something to back up um, many power users and those users who know what they're doing can again go down to never notify which is exactly the same as turning user account control off in Windows Vista and obviously it says not recommended and I would definitely not recommend this unless you obviously know what you're doing you have proper antivirus installed and you make sure that's updated regularly and this will not notify me when I make changes to Windows settings or try to install software on my computer so that's uh, the user account control so if I just go ahead and confirm that second I'm just going to take you through libraries now this is the new way which Windows 7 allows me to organize my files now under the libraries tab here as you can see in the explorer we have documents music pictures and video now i can add a library anytime i want but let's just go through one of the libraries now and i'll show you how it works if i click on my documents library for example we can see it currently includes three locations a documents library or any of the libraries is basically a collection of different folders and files which i select if we go ahead and click the locations it's currently running, we can see here it's included my documents on my C drive, my public documents also on my C drive, and my documents on my E drive, which is where I keep a lot of my backup documents. Now, if you're a type of user who is always changing their operating system, always formatting, and always changing things, I'm sure you always like to have a nice backup of all your stuff external or on another hard drive inside your computer. Now the great thing about the documents library is you don't always have to copy these documents again and again and again back to my documents. As you can see in the documents library I can clearly access my documents from my E drive and it looks as though they're in my documents as if I was looking at them on my normal drive. Also, if you wanted to be extra careful and say if I wanted to save all my documents to my e-drive as a default and never really use the my documents folder 
on my Windows 7 account this is really easy in Windows 7 if I quickly go here select um, my eDrive documents if I just right click and now that will be the default save location for all my documents so as a test I'm just going to drag into my documents and now you can see it's defaulted onto my E drive <coughs> because I selected that in the documents library location I'm just going to go back and put my documents back there as a default and remove that file so that makes life a lot easier and if you've got documents, pictures, movies from everywhere on external hard drives, on USB drives um, libraries are going to really help you with that for example pictures currently in this library it's just public pictures and my own pictures but say if I have an external hard drive with you know a few thousand pictures that I really can't be asked to drag and keep them saved on my main computer I can just add that location really easily just browse my computer and add that location to my pictures library and it will look like I'm looking at my normal pictures folder except my pictures will be safe on my external hard drive so that's how to use libraries finally the superbar obviously the change from Windows 7 to Windows Vista is this lovely in my opinion um, the new taskbar is a great improvement from Vista. Um, some people might not like the look of it and might not take the time to get familiar with it and if you really don't want to do that you can customize it extremely easily. All we have to do is right click go to properties, select the use small icons box and then under taskbar buttons if we select never combine and then apply those settings you can see our superbar has now changed into I guess a normal taskbar and you'll be put back with your familiar quick launch and then also your programs here and to undo that I'll say do not use small icons and always combine hide the labels it's as easy as that Windows 7 actually comes with an ISO burner built in and so you literally only have to right click on an ISO file and you can burn that straight to a disk without having to install any third party programs like Power ISO, Image Burn or Nero or whatever you like you won't even have to install that you can just do your basic disk burning of images straight from the operating system which is really helpful and finally just so I don't waste too much of your time um, don't forget what I mentioned in my last video about Vista speeding up the boot this works exactly the same way we go MS config in the start menu and we press enter and run that we're faced exactly with the same screen as we were in Vista now if we go to boot choose advanced options to speed up the process select the number of processes that you are currently using I'm using a quad core so I can use four cores while booting Windows actually only uses one core while it boots so why not let it use all of them which will give it a few, a few more seconds and a, few more, a lot more power to use when it's booting also have a look under the startup tab now there's going to be lots, of th these are all the programs that start up with your computer so you should untick anything which you don't want or don't need when you're starting up your computer so for example as you can see I've unticked quite a few boxes which used to be ticked a few Adobe programs, iTunes, QuickTime all these things I don't need when I'm starting my computer I just want it to be fast and then I can choose what I want and this will greatly improve your startup time and all we have to do is apply those settings and click OK. OK guys, hope this has been helpful. Just just a few um, tips in Windows 7. And hopefully I'll come back with some more soon when it retails. And if I find any more, I'll keep you posted. Um, feel free to rate, comment and subscribe. Um, 
rate my video also, uh, add it to your favourites if you loved it, and take a look at my other videos. Okay, thanks guys.